Republicans would still like to repeal it, but for now, the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, remains the law of the land. In fact, we're in the enrollment period right now, but some people may not know that. The Trump administration cut the funds used to promote it and shortened the sign-up period. The deadline to buy health insurance on the federal exchanges is December 15th, and in some parts of the country, enrollment was up sharply, heading into the Thanksgiving holiday. We're looking at how it's going in Wisconsin now with Kathy Mahaffey, the CEO of the Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative. Welcome back to Upfront. Thank you. So you're, you're operating in 19 counties in eastern Wisconsin. How has the enrollment period gone for you? Well, we're very busy. Uh, many of our existing members are re-enrolling and new members as well are enrolling in our health plans. So it's, it's very busy for our staff and um, the brokers that represent us. Compared to last year, uh, numbers that you're seeing? Um, yeah, numbers are up um, for sure for us. Um, certainly less choices for consumers this year. And so the activity is very brisk. Um, as you know, the time is shorter for consumers to act. So we see them acting. Well, what has been the impact? You mentioned that the sign-up period has been shortened. Uh, the Trump administration made a decision not to uh, invest in promotion of the sign-up period in the way that the Obama administration had done. What impact has that had? Well, for us, I think we're fortunate because we have um, navigators and enrollment assisters, providers of health care, and brokers who are out there getting the word out, trying to get consumers to act and act quickly. So I think Wisconsin's pretty strong in that regard, and so we're really seeing um, the benefits of that. But we're concerned, too. We really want to get the word out that December 15th is it this year, so people need to act very quickly. There is so much uncertainty about the future of the Affordable Care Act. We talked about this a year ago. There was uncertainty then. I think it's only been heightened since then. How does that affect the way you do business, how does it affect consumer decisions? Yeah, it's, it's really difficult to operate in such a uh, environment where there's so much uncertainty. You know, our first and foremost concern is about our members and the consumers out there. So we've spent an enormous amount of time trying to um, take time to get out to meet members, to get communications out, to really educate uh, people that, you know, as you said, the Affordable Care Act is a law of the land. People still need to be enrolling in health insurance, but it takes a great deal of effort to, to make sure people feel that um, it's still there and it's still available to them. But it, it, it's tough. It's tough to make decisions. It's tough to operate in such an uncertain environment. So we continue to hope um, that uh, we'll see some more certainty as we move along. Premium increases, too, for some people have spiked sharply. If you get subsidies and, and you can and you can bring the cost way down, but for some people, that's not happening. Right, that's been our main concern for 2018. You're hearing that from your, your customers. Absolutely. We've been out having uh, meetings with our members, and in every single meeting, we have a group of folks that speak up and talk about the fact that they're, they're entrepreneurs, they have their very successful businesses, they're CPAs, they're consultants, and they don't qualify for any financial assistance. And their premiums have increased so significantly, and we're very, very concerned for those, those folks. We, I honestly don't know what they're going to do about their health care choice uh, next year. It's very troubling, and, and that's really been um, an unfortunate result of no action um, to, to help repair the Affordable Care Act. Uh, are you optimistic that action will be taken to help repair it, or, or are we going to continue to live with the uncertainty for the foreseeable future? Well, I absolutely want to be optimistic, um, and you know we're going to be uh, relentlessly advocating for our members to um, advocate for something to be changed and, and improved. But unfortunately, uh, when I look at this year and the lack of inaction, that really causes me uh, great concern. So what I'm hoping is that if the federal, federal uh, government doesn't act, that perhaps our state will. Perhaps our state will do something to step in and make things better for individuals that need health insurance. And final question, well, why have you continued to, uh, to be a part of the, the exchanges? A lot of uh, uh, insurers have decided to back away from that. Why are you still part of the exchange? Well, we're absolutely committed to our mission, which is to serve people in the individual market who, who absolutely need health insurance. In fact, in seven counties in the state, we're the only insurance carrier offering coverage on the exchange. Without us, those people would have no option for health insurance. So our board and our staff are very, very committed to this market. Kathy Mahaffey is the CEO of Common Ground Healthcare Co-op, only one of four co-ops in the country still, still around. Thanks very much for being with us today. Thank Appreciate you for it. Me. When we come back, the percentage of minority teachers in Wisconsin and why it matters.